Hey, it's Chris Larson. Today I'm going to show you how to use my web services web app. Uh, visit my blog, chrislarson.me. Um, you can search for LabVIEW Web Services Web App or visit this URL in uh, Internet Explorer browser I have here. Um, if you, you can read the details about it. Uh, scroll to the bottom and I have a link here. Download the LabVIEW code. Download that. Uh, Save it, I guess. Open it. Then you're going to have to extract it. It's a zip file. Sure, I've already done it, so I added a one. And there it is. It's called REST API. Um, I reused it from another project. And then you can open up the LabVIEW project, REST API. I already have LabVIEW open should open another project okay now here's all the components of this project there's a main vi has the two sliders in it um, there's some helper vi's that handle some of the interaction um, there's a global space the global space handles passing uh, the slider value from the main dot vi to the web services VI. And so in the web services, I have front panel controls is what I call my web service, and I can start it here. I have a public folder, and in the public folder, I have an index.html, some JSON, and some styling. To And the styling makes the uh, HTML look like LabVIEW. So that's all available. I won't go over the details. You can look at those files individually. But right now I'm going to start the web service. And web service is now running on port 8001. Okay, cool. Then I'm going to start the main VI. And run that. And now to find out what my URL is. I'm going to have to go to web resources slide read show method URL. Here's the full method URL from panel control slide read. I'm going to copy that whole thing go back to Internet Explorer, paste it in here. Now, here's where it's a little bit different because that's the method um, for the read VI. I want the the URL for just index.html. So that is actually going to be at the base location. So from panel controls, that's the name of my LabVIEW web service, and then slash, and it by default goes to index.html. So now you can see I have a very similar looking web page to what main.vi is. Now if I update global, I hit OK in LabVIEW. Let me close some of these windows so you can see both at the same time. So global slide value is now at 0. If I adjust it up to 73, it's now at 73. Adjust it to 50, updates on the web page at 50. Now from the web page, I say make the slide value 100, update that updates in LabVIEW. So it's a two-way binding. Now 46. Update. Nah, you didn't see that. There's a little error where uh, sometimes it gets off. You can look through the JavaScript and fix that. Um, but you can see how back and forth I can now change values from LabVIEW, update them on the web page, change values from the web page, update them in LabVIEW.